The story of the late Millard Gooding, Richmond County's legendary warden and later public works director, is a story of many things. Success in a role that few seem to choose, achievement in a job that many fail to find. But there is also this, a story of redemption. Before his death more than a decade ago, Millard F. Gooding quietly and methodically built a reputation for getting things done. Former Augusta Mayor Larry Sconyers put it this way, he was the kind of man that if you had a problem, you took it to him. He got the problem solved. He didn't have to study it to death. Millard Gooding was born in Emanuel County. He began work in the prison system as a guard, transferring to Richmond County in the 1940s. By the mid-50s, he had worked himself up to warden. Under his leadership, Richmond County Correctional Institution was the first prison in Georgia to begin work release and educational release programs for its inmates, programs that later operated throughout the state system. As warden, he received commendations from both bodies of the Georgia Legislature and served two terms as president of the Georgia Prison Wardens Association. What made him so good? In a 1963 Chronicle interview, Gooding put it this way, a good warden is one who likes to work with people and understands the problems of prisoners. At times, a warden has to be all heart and at other times act as though he has no heart. He must be a man with a lot of patience who can sit down and listen to the prisoner's problem and counsel him. If there is something he can do to help them with their problem, then it is his duty to do so. Everyone knew how good Millard Gooding was. In the 1950s and 60s, the pages of the Augusta Chronicle are full of stories of him accepting an award or doing some public service or both. In 1970, he received the Augusta Bar Association's Liberty Bell Award. In 1974, Richmond County gave him a Millard Gooding Day. He survived two heart attacks and triple bypass surgery, and the county kept asking him to return because of his problem-solving ability and because of his extensive knowledge about roads and ongoing projects in the county. For all of his professional success, Millard Gooding was probably best known for his compassion for the inmates. In fact, he often referred to them as his second family. He treated them well. And you know, there might have been a reason for that. You see, Millard Gooding had been an inmate himself. On January 12, 1938, he had been sentenced to 19 to 20 years for his part in a holdup in Emanuel County. Later that same year, he was sentenced to life in prison for another holdup. But someone in the Georgia prison system must have seen something in inmate Millard Gooding. He earned parole, got a job working in a prison, and eventually he became a prison warden. I know, there are a lot of bad people in prison. There's a lot of meanness, there's a lot of hurt, but sometimes there's a Millard Gooding in there. Thank goodness we found ours.